Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to learn how to make some simple guacamole. Today we have a Super Bowl party. We're going to have about, I don't know, 25 to 35 people. We're going to make guacamole. What we have here is we have five nice, ripe Haas avocados. So what we're going to put in the guacamole today is we're going to do ripe vine tomatoes. We're going to do white onion, some salt, black pepper, lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna cut the onion very fine. I find that when you cut it, the finer you cut it, the better it tastes as far as texture. You know what, what I've done before, just for your information, if you don't have a sharp knife or you're not good at chopping or cutting, you can actually cut the half onion into quarters and actually put it in a food processor and you know hit the button about three or four times and you can get the same effect. And then after this, we're going to dice our tomatoes. So we got a bowl right here, big bowl, okay? So you get your onion once it's done. Dump it here into the bowl. And we're ready for the next step, which is the tomatoes. So we're going to do two of these. Okay, there's our first tomato. We're going to scoop the bowl over here. Dump it in. You know, got another... Tip I want to give you guys, if you want smaller dices, you can actually cut the half into half and then go into it. The reason I didn't do it with the first one is because it was too soft. But anyway, once you get that going. Okay, guys, so we get our tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Dump them in the bowl. Okay. And then the avocados have to be nice and ripe. We pick some... Big avocados, because we're going to have a lot of people here. Once you break it in half, see how nice and beautiful and ripe that is. You hit the seed. We're going to continue cutting avocados in half here. And you get the seed. You pop it out that way. Here we go. We're almost done. Okay, so now that we have all these halves cut, then we're going to there. You start from the top part, and you work your way in. Okay, make sure you scrape what's left. Okay, again, you go around the perimeter, around the edge, and then you finish down on the bottom. Uh oh, uh oh, we have flying avocado. Sorry. Okay, so now we've got the avocado, the white onion, the two diced tomatoes. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a lemon to make sure the seeds don't fall. You just put your hand here, and you squeeze. And if any seeds come out, they will get filtered by your fingers. So anyway, guys, we squeezed the whole lemon in there. Now what we're going to do right now is, to make it easier on us, we'll get the knife, and we'll start chopping away before we use a fork. Now that we cut it, we're going to start with the fork, and you have to be patient, especially when it's this much avocado. I like to add a little bit of olive oil, okay? this extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add about three of these little caps. Okay, gives a favor. We're gonna add the salt and the pepper at the very end. Keep on working it with the fork, working towards that creamier consistency. You'll, you'll still have some chunks in there, but. So you have to add to your taste, we just added uh, salt. We're going to add a little bit of black pepper and then we're going to work it in there and then we'll taste it. Make sure that salt and black pepper are mixed all the way. Now Kimmel, you're going to tell us hmm? if it needs if it needs salt. Actually, but uh, can I give you a pointer, sir? When you're going to taste the guacamole, you need to taste it without the chip. Why? So then you get, because the chip has salt. The chip, the chip already has salt and spices. Very good. No one's used this fork, okay? So I'm going to get you a little bit of tomato there, and you're going to taste it and let me know if it needs, it probably needs a little bit more salt. Oh, boy, that's not good. A belly button. Oh, then we're good. I'd like to give my See, opinion. you have to be careful belly buttons. What are the odds of him having that in there? I'd like How to give it taste? my opinion. More salt? A little bit more salt and a little more black pepper. That can oh. taste the black pepper either. Well, let me guess. You like black pepper? So you're a little biased, right? Okay. We're almost done here. Then I'm gonna get some out with the knife. Put it on the fork and I'll see what I think about it. 
Wow, that's actually really, really good. That is it from the Del Rio kitchen. And have a good evening. Enjoy your walk home.